Hi, so you want to learn about guides. That's totally awesome. Let's start by first showing you what a guide is, just in case you do not know or you haven't worked with it before. Um, you see these two lines on my screen, these two blue lines, they are called guides. And I can hover my mouse on top of them and click and drag. Uh, these lines are called guides. And the reason they are so useful or so important is because when you're making you know, advanced designs where you have to align a number of other objects with a certain edge, they come in really handy uh, the, because these guides are what you use to define the edges that you want the other objects to align to. So before I begin showing you how to make guides, I want to tell you that I'm using Inkscape version 0 0.91 and in case you have a different version, you might see different options and 0 0.48 and 0 0.91 have certain differences. Uh, let's start by creating a simple guide. You can click on the left ruler to create a vertical guide. Click and drag on, on the top ruler to you know, create a horizontal guide. And uh, just in case you are not seeing these rulers, you can go to view and uh, it should be show and hide, yes. And click on the rulers and that will toggle the rulers on and off for you. Cool. So pretty easy to create these guides right but it's pretty hard to arbitrarily position them exactly you know where you want them to be for example I want to keep this guide exactly at 200 uh, instead of dragging with your mouse and placing it there you can simply double click on a guide and specify the coordinates so since this guy is a vertical you know it's a vertical guide I just need to specify the X coordinate which is 200 and the Y coordinate zero the y doesn't matter at all because it's a, it's a vertical guide and click on ok and i get this guide positioned exactly at 200 pixels same is the case with this this guide it's somewhere at around 900 right now which you can see here the x coordinate does not matter the y coordinate i want to place it let's say at you know at 100 100 pixels uh, i click on ok and strangely it has disappeared you might think that but it hasn't because in Inkscape, the zero is at the bottom of your document. So if you scroll down, you'd be able to see that your guide is now at position 100. Uh, the other thing you can do with guides is you can also give them an angle. So let's say I take this guide, you know, it's at position somewhere 50 or 60, and I want it to be at, uh, at the intersection of these two lines, which is 200 and 100. So I can simply double click on this guide and say, X coordinate 200, Y coordinate 100, and change the angle of this line. Uh, make it 45 degrees, let's say. I click on OK, and you see I have, you know, a nice diagonal guide at 45 degrees angle, which passes through the point 200 and 100. Uh, and that's pretty much, you know, the easiest, simplest way is actually to create guides on your documents uh, yeah and there'll be a lot more in the upcoming videos thanks for watching